38 seconds to go in the game. Notre Dame third and goal of the three-yard line of Georgia Tech. Alaco rolls out, pitches back with the ball as Dan Knott, touchdown Notre Dame. Dan Knott takes the pitch back on the left side and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Notre Dame going 30 yards in seven plays and now has a 23-3 lead with 28 seconds to go. So the extra point unit comes out. A sophomore from Blooming, Indiana hits the ball very high into the stands and good. With the score, Notre Dame 24, Georgia Tech 3. There's a timeout on the field and this for four. 28 seconds done. Notre Dame is set to go to, go to kick off and here's the action. At McLaughlin will kick off with 28 seconds to go. Line drives the ball into and out of the end zone. So Georgia Tech will put the ball on offense first and 10 at its 20-yard line. Rudy Allen with 28 seconds to go drops to throw for Georgia Tech. Puts up a home run ball. Lipinski's out there for Notre Dame. Cannot intercept as the Georgia Tech intended receiver turned defensive back and broke the play up. Steve Rabel came in and knocked the ball away from Lipinski. He couldn't catch it. Rabel got a hand on it. Lipinski was all set to intercept down at the Notre Dame 40. Well, Georgia Tech fell behind and unable to pass. They've just been unable to get back in this game. Rudy Allen drops to throw. They're going to get him. They do back at the 14. Notre Dame's second line defensive unit swarms in to get Rudy Allen in to make the first hit for the Fighting Irish. Was Jay Akterhoff. And now the clock ticks off the final seconds. The gun sounds, and Notre Dame with its most impressive win, beating Georgia Tech 24-3.